Since the dawn of social media, there have been some very stupid trends to hit the internet, and we've talked previously on this channel how I feel like TikTok really opened Pandora's box when it came to that type of thing, because what TikTok did is they made it so simple to go viral. All you have to do is take your phone out your pocket, start filming yourself, maybe you start filming your friend, boom, you hit upload, and all of a sudden you got these millions and millions of plays, and you think it's all good, it's like your inner clout demon has finally been fed and that is until people start reporting you to your local police department I'm talking about the FBI agents of the internet and then all of a sudden you find yourself standing before a judge waiting to either pay a massive fine or even possibly serve some jail time for your very stupid TikTok actions. And I'm sure in that moment you really do start thinking hmm maybe this wasn't really all worth it. I don't know how many of you guys remember this teenager from Texas right here who tried to start this ice cream licking challenge where people were going inside their local grocery stores, taking the lid off the Bluebell ice cream, taking a massive lick like a damn cow, and then filming it for the world, or I guess I should say the judge, to see. They know who she is. The young Nasty. woman licking a container of ice cream and then putting it back in the supermarket freezer has been identified by police. Lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. Nasty it back. hoe. Here she is. These new photos taken from surveillance cameras show the young lady and her boyfriend at a Walmart in Lufkin, Texas. Terrible. Now she's being dubbed the Lufkin Licker. <laughs> After police distributed the photos, she was quickly identified. A police spokesperson says the young woman and her boyfriend were both forthcoming with what occurred and admitted to the act. Well, yeah, like when you catch yourself in 4K, what else can you do but fess up? And I'm telling you guys, with the way the internet is today, they will identify you at insane rates. I mean, we just talked about those girls at the Houston Astros baseball game who got doxxed almost immediately after going viral. As to whether her boyfriend will face charges, we are currently discussing his involvement with prosecutors. Now, there's a new concern. Copycats. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. This knucklehead posted a video of himself digging his fingers into Ugh. a tub of ice cream. Am I tripping or didn't this guy like dig his fingers in his booty hole and then rub it all on the ice cream as well? Wasn't this the same dude that was later on like licking a toilet seat? Maybe I'm just making stuff up. This young lady recorded herself doing this. Bunch of idiots. Two days later, she tried to explain her behavior by posting, let me be clear, I bought and took home the ice cream I licked. They'll do anything for clout. They'll do anything for clout. Tampering with food is no joke. Doctors warn that shoppers exposed to contaminated products could be stricken with a cold, strep throat, or mono. Those with weakened immune systems are especially vulnerable, doctors say. And you have to keep in mind, when this trend was going on, it all went down like right before I think the uh, global virus came out. And so now I would think the charges for doing this type of thing have possibly become even a little bit worse. Like I know in some states even spitting on someone classifies as biological warfare. And I wouldn't be surprised if they took it to that place just to make an example out of one of these idiots. And I guess some things really never die guys despite the clips I just showed you being almost 4 years old at this point. This couple right here actually felt inspired enough to try and bring this trend back. And now we got some prime contestants for idiot number one and idiot number two of the day. Where are they? Good ice cream. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. A double lick. All right, Ariel, put it back. Ariel, put it back. Come on, let's run. Let's run. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be completely honest, guys. I do not trust anyone who has a beard that looks like this. Okay, if your whole other face is just clean shaven all the way around and just like the tip of your chin is just having this weird whiteboard eraser looking thing, you are not to be trusted, okay? You're like the little kids who had all the silver teeth. Like if I'm not careful and if I don't watch you, I might find you biting my ankle later. Actually, I just noticed that me and him kind of got the same fit on. But seriously, why at this point would you be so dumb, knowing that others have faced repercussions for this very same thing in the past, and still film yourself trying to do this for clout? You know, the other girl, they had a hard time sensing her because she was still a teenager. But this man actually got jail time for his ice cream licking stunts. A man is pleaded guilty to licking ice cream at a Texas Walmart in an attempt at viral fame. 
24-year-old Deadrian Anderson will serve 30 days in jail for the 2019 stunt. He licked a half gallon of Blue Bell ice cream around a month after a similar video went viral. Anderson told CNN affiliate that he was hoping to gain internet fame through the video. Like we've said before, guys, they do anything for clout. He's saying that he bought there the ice cream afterwards. There are a lot of factors that go into it, but he caused a law enforcement investigation to be conducted by his silly conduct. And uh, people are going to have to understand, that's not going to happen in Jefferson County. That is not going to happen in Jefferson County, my people. Not under this man's watch, okay? They got the uh, Walmart Mr. Feeney here and he's come to take your life. That's not going to happen in Jefferson County. <laughs> He pleaded guilty. There's nothing else you can do when you film yourself in 4K. He was ordered to pay a $1,000 fine and about $1,500 of restitution uh, to Bluebell Creameries. So yeah, this man actually had to pay around $2,500 in fines. And even worse, he had to spend around a month in jail for his ice cream licking antics. Imagine you going around, oh, what did you do? Well, I hacked some computers. And what about you? Oh, I got into a big bar fight. I cut some guy's ear off. And what about you in the corner, Timmy? Oh, you know, I was trying to go viral and I licked some ice cream. Get the fuck out of here. But it all does kind of make sense when you realize that these people are just so damn hungry for clout that they're the types that they would make this uh couple's instagram page couple's youtube channel i mean truly is there more clout driven individuals than people who want to have these couples channels people who are trying to go viral off of their relationship i mean truthfully i find this to be one of the most pathetic phenomena on the entire internet and when you combine that with the whole ice cream licking thing that we all just witnessed these two gotta be some of the biggest clowns out there but y'all let me know what you guys think about these stupid TikTok trends that keep rearing their ugly heads over and over again. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Just a quick little video today, guys. I got a couple of uh, biography, documentary type of videos coming out later this weekend. So I hope y'all look forward to that. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. And as you guys know, it's Benny Boy of Tan Superman. And some other stupid couples out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace.